Hey friends, welcome back to the YouTube channel. If this is your first time, you're welcome. And returning members, you're highly, highly welcome. I love you so much. Thanks for all the support. So this is um, the weekly recap video and uh, we will talk about our forecast for the coming week and then um, we we'll talk a little bit about what happened in the past or we're looking at the focus usually on pound USD and the euro USD. So this is the monthly chart of pound USD. We'll just kick off from where we talked about last week. So guess what? Our predictions from last week all kind of overplayed out. So I guess it was a very good week for us. Uh, both those trading forex and those trading binary so now this is where we are as you know very well the focus so far has been um, it has been a decline to a low level and all of this has been a pullback and when you go to the 61.8 level it um, hit it and decided pulling back and since i'm pulling back i've been talking about us taking advantage of sell opportunities so now it's at the 50 level pound usd actually broke through the 50 level let's just quickly look at them um, for euro usd so for Euro USD, it's uh, kind of the same thing too. Uh, you know, it hits the 61 and pull back to the 50, fell below the 50, and right now it's hitting the 38.2 level right there. So um, at this point, you know, since it has been pulling down, you know, like I said, we may actually expect declines. You know, in the bigger picture, can expect declines all the way down, meaning. There's still a lot of pips to go. You know, so far, two weeks, uh, two, three weeks ago, I talked about it by a 300 pip decline. It has done that right now. So what next? Now, what we can do is that we can begin to watch for it to actually begin to break these levels. You yeah, understand? If it breaks these levels, then we can follow it further down. We want to see that it, it actually distinctly breaks it's at 8.2 level then we can follow it down you know the market doesn't usually move in straight line it's actually a possibility that it may actually um, maybe turn around for the euro usd retest the 50 level again before declining or that back to the 38 and pushing down we don't know but ours is that we can expect that okay if it breaks this next support we can see that it's now pushing through to the 20 um 3.6 level then we can follow it down and get the bias overall is still more or less bearish and the same thing applies for the pound usd pound usd for the pound usd it kind of broke more clearly you know uh, below the 50 level there so it's a kind of more clear so however we'll watch it at the smaller time frame and see how it's moving if we go you know we look at a bigger time frame this monthly then we use a smaller time to enter preferably daily and four hours so let's go to daily and see how that is so for pound usd if we go to the daily time frame this is what we have wow such a push down such a push down interesting so because this push is quite uh, steep let's move here and see it is quite steep it just broke through the 50 level uh there this is the 50 line there so i think i think we can try to look if we can find as the week commence maybe some kind of pullback on the daily before we try to start taking any further sales you know let's look at it on four hours and see how it looks like on four hours still very steep on four hours so i think the on four hours the current maybe support zone is just around here which is about the 1.2 300 so it's already broke through this support so except we'll see some kind of pullback using that 1.2 300 as a stop loss before i and it's fed out to take any entries we want to see some pullback before you start taking for that sales because this is quite steep you understand now that's for pound usd let's look at um, euro usd for hours okay let me zoom out let me see if i can see this a little bit clearer okay it's kind of similar to let me look at euro usd on daily okay so on daily it's kind of similar to the uh, same decline pattern so this zone here is still acting as let's say current uh, resistance or potential stop loss zone so if the market is declining if the market pulls back uh, for euro years it already did some kind of pullback on the daily so maybe in the coming week we can extract it for a little bit more pullback and sell on that I think that's a potential strategy what i'm going to do is that within the week if you're not um, part of our um, whatsapp group or telegram group ensure to join the link to join will be in the description of this video so that i can continue giving updates so that you know what to do okay now um let's look at the fundamentals for the coming week let's see you know potential
potential days that we can take advantage of. So Monday starts off with um, a few news. Seven, nine o'clock, there's a major news on the euro. So I guess from that nine, we may expect some rally in the market and in the afternoon by 2 p.m. So for those of us trading binary, I think we can expect to be able to find a good trade, um, at least for those um, within the hours of um, 3 o'clock GMT plus 1 to um, I mean, 3 p.m. GMT plus 1 to 5 p.m. GMT plus 1 probably because of this um, news that will be coming up this month's speech at least by 3 o'clock the impact should already decide to be seen that's for binary traders anyway uh, maybe do subscribe to our binary SMS service uh, I guess it's a similar thing to on Tuesday so I'll be looking to trade that 3 to 5 p.m. time binary wise and make some profit on it then on Wednesday, on Wednesday, okay. So Wednesday, I guess we can trade that 1 to 2 p.m. and also the 3 to 5. This will be fantastic periods to trade. And let me see Thursday. Okay, Thursday, all day, morning, afternoon, evening, all good. This the market will have a lot of volatility on Thursday from the news I've seen. Then on Friday, it's about the same thing. Morning, afternoon, evening, all good periods to make money. So I guess Friday will make money all throughout the day. If this has given you value, please like, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss forecasts like this. Together on this, we're going to win on this continually. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.